we're in an energy crisis, bills are going up, the cost of living is going up, and what are people doing? Surrendering their pets. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working out how much the reptiles in this room actually cost me in terms of electricity. There's been a lot of conversation around this topic recently. You put on the news, you hear about the energy crisis. Our electricity bills literally doubled almost overnight. Um, but one thing I didn't know that was going on because of this is that some people are surrendering their reptiles and amphibians. So is this something you've been considering or have you ever wondered how much your animals actually cost you? Maybe you've already worked it out. Let me know in the comments below. But I was actually inspired to do this video when I saw a post from Snakes and Adders, an independent specialist reptile centre here in the UK. They say an increasing amount of animals are being surrendered to our store. I'm sure we can't be the only ones seeing it at Snakes and Adders. Other stores and rescue centres are having more and more animals surrendered to them as well with this recent energy price hike as a key reason given. They then go on to calculate roughly how much of an increase in electricity people may actually be paying for keeping a leopard gecko and a bearded dragon per week and it's not that much. Sure it's more than you were paying before but it's not that a lot in the grand scheme of things. It is a shame that people are giving up on their pets, but on the flip side, if you genuinely can't afford to care for them properly, then surrendering them is an understandable outcome and it's better than keeping them in undesirable conditions. However, it should be noted that boiling your kettle multiple times a day or having fans on for hours, air con, all costs money and probably more than what it costs to run a reptile fit. So I figured out I'd work out with you right now how much my six geckos actually cost me. If you didn't know, I have four leopard geckos, a crested gecko and a chihuahua. They each use the same product, so a 50 watt deep heat projector, a 22 watt jungle dawn LED bar and an 8 watt Pro T5 UV lamp. Now, of course, these calculations are not going to be exact. There's going to be some guesswork in there. And of course, your prices will vary depending on where you live in the world and your provider. Another thing to consider is I do have solar panels, which do reduce my costs in summer, but I don't know quite how much. So this probably could be an overestimate in terms of summer prices. Now, reptile heaters are also probably going to work out more in winter rather than summer. For example, despite my Crested Gecko and Chihuahua both having deep heat projectors, I'm pretty sure they're not on during summer as I use thermostats, which will turn them off when they reach the correct basking temperature. And it can get hot in here. So these estimates are definitely going to be on the higher end of the spectrum to what I'm actually probably paying. Now, what I do know is we pay 28.45 pence per kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is the amount of energy used if you kept a 1000 watt appliance running for an hour. So let's do some maths. And yes, I said maths with an S because that's how we say it over here. So if we take one setup, the Jungle Dawn LED bar and the Pro T5 are linked. They come on and off at the same time. I use smart plugs to control these. They're on a timer. They come on from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the moment, so they're on for 10 hours. The deep heat projector is on 24 seven. Since I use a thermostat, the stat will turn it off once it reaches that target temperature. A thermostat not only ensures that your animals don't burn, but it does save you money since the lamp isn't working full pelt 24 seven. So what we'll do is we'll work out how much the lamp is using by saying it's using full power 50% of the time, which is extremely generous, as I said probably works more in winter than it does in summer, but this is what we're going to work with. I did originally use Snakes and Adders way of calculating the usage, and I'm proud to say I calculated it correct, um, but I did find this online calculator, so you can kind of do it yourself if you like, um, and it makes things super simple, so let's use that. We'll work out the LED bar first. So first we'll type in 22 watt for 10 hours a day, and that works out at six pence a day to run one LED bar. Not bad. And that's during the energy crisis. Keep that in mind. Like our prices have doubled. That probably cost me three pence like last year, but even still only six pence. Now the UV lamps, that's an eight watt. It runs for 10 hours a day. That cost me two pence. 
Giving your gecko UV for 10 hours a day costs two pence during an energy crisis. I need to put emphasis on that because so many people hear that and think, you know, the prices are shooting up and yes, they have gone up, but it's still only two pence and I think you could afford that. And now for the biggie, and I must stress this is a massive overestimate. As I said, hot weather, this projector isn't going to be working for Pelt for very long. Uh, I doubt Crusty Gecko and Chihu one even comes on at the moment. But if we do some calculations again and put this in as 12 hours instead of 24 hours, because 50% of the time it's working, um, let's put that in. So that would cost me 16.8 pence, 17 pence a day, which, as I said, more expensive, bit of an overestimate, but it totally works out as one vivarium costing me 25 pence a day. All six tanks will cost me £1.50 a day, which is around, I think, $1.79 for six tanks, six animals. Like, if you only used a heat map with no lighting, which to be fair, I wouldn't recommend, like, I would think we could strive for better, but even if you were using the basics, like a seven watt heat map that I used to use, which is on a stat, so it's not working full pelt 24 seven, you're only looking at paying two to five pence a day, depending on how long you actually use it for. And that's calculated at it working full pelt for 12 or 24 hours. Now I'm sure these things add up and I don't want to make anyone feel bad if they think they have to really give up their pet because of the situation we're all in at the moment. But I think what I don't like is the fact that some people's parents or partners are forcing them to give up their animals, blaming the reptile on these massive bills. When in reality, you know, leaving lights on, watching TV, leaving the TV on standby. Playstations, Xbox, laptops, phone chargers, you know, these all add up and in comparison to actual living things, these things are disposable and if we really have to, we can cut back on using them. Now these are obviously things you should always consider before getting a pet, especially one that relies on heat and light, but in reality when you think about it, one vivarium with all the up-to-date tech, LED, deep heat projector, UV lamp literally cost me 25 pence a day to run during an energy crisis. And as I said at the beginning, we have solar panels, so during the day in summer it's even cheaper. On the hottest day of the year we had aircon running, fans running, uh, laptop on, TV on, appliances on when we had to like cook tea. Um, all the reptile equipment on, and I believe we used 40 pence during that day in total when the sun was out. So if you live in a sunny place and you don't already have solar panels, you need them in your life because they can save you a lot of money. But yeah, I hope this has cleared things up. Be sure to follow Snakes and Adders on Facebook. I'll leave their link below. We've also been tackling this topic on Arcadia Reptile social media. So um, if you didn't know, I help run Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, as well as their channel. So I will also leave those links below so you can go follow us over there. Uh, but if this video has helped, please boop that like button and consider sharing it with anyone pointing the finger at your reptiles who say that they add to the electricity cost because you can work it out and I bet it's not that much. But anyway, thank you for watching guys and goodbye.